Before connecting any connector to the controller, first unplug the controller, then connect the connector, and plug the controller back in. So once everything's hooked up here and you got all your element tubes in and everything's tight, connect the controller to it and you want to test to make sure the motors are able to disperse their elements and retract their elements correctly. In order to do that on the optimizer here, you need to press this arrow button on this side, which changes it to six meters. You're going to deploy six meters. Both motors should run. It's deploying the director and the driven elements, and then they'll stop. And then retract the meters, the elements. Both motors again are running. And you want to do this for each band. So we'll go to 10. Make sure both motors are running. And then retract them. And you'll continue to do this through the rest of the bands there, 12, 15, 17, and 20 meters. All of those bands have two meters, two motors running at the same time. One's the director and one's the driven. 30 and 40 meters is a little different. Uh, 30 and 40 meters uses only the driven element. The director does not get deployed. Initially, when you press the 30 or 40 meter button, you'll hear both motors run, but the director will go into a locked position and the driven will continue to run. And you want to make sure you test both 40 and 30. You heard both motors running up and the director shut off. The driven is now running as it's extending the tape all the way through the driven elements around the loops and into the, the director elements. While this is running, you're listening for anything odd, anything that sounds strange. You're checking to make sure that the tapes can make it all the way through the corners. The motor changes speed. This is all normal. As long as everything sounds like it's running smooth, you can almost hear the tapes running through the different pipes. And then the motor comes to a stop, and you're now on 40 meters. As with the other bands, you want to retract them. Again, you'll hear both motors start for a moment and then the director shuts off and the driven continues to run. It changes speed. and it's done. Now the other thing you want to do here uh, while you're testing these motors is making sure we'll bring up 10 meters here real quick the directors running the drivens running we're now in two element beam mode you want to make sure that the incremental tuning is working so you grab this knob and as you change the knob position changes frequency. The frequency, if you have the radio interface, may change with the radio. The antenna retunes. It's shortening or lengthening the elements depending on which way the frequency goes to give you the best SWR. You want to make sure in the two element, which is 6 through 20, 
that those motors are changing as the frequency changes and then when you're on 30 and 40 which is in a single element mode that the single motor is operating as well. When you're done testing the elements don't forget to unplug the power supply from the controller.